The Chorleywood bread process (CBP) is a process of making dough in bread production. The process was developed in 1961 by the British Baking Industries Research Association based at Chorleywood in Hertfordshire, and in 2009 was used to make 80% of the United Kingdom's bread. Compared to the older bulk fermentation process, the CBP is able to use lower protein wheat, and produces bread in a shorter time. CBP is able to use lower protein wheat because some protein is lost during bulk fermentation of traditional bread. This does not occur to the same degree in mechanically developed doughs. The process had an important impact in the United Kingdom where, at the time, few domestic wheat varieties were of sufficient quality to make high quality bread products. The process therefore permitted a much greater proportion of lower protein domestic wheat to be used in the grist. Details The Chorleywood bread process allows the use of lower protein wheats and reduces processing time, the system being able to produce a loaf of bread from flour to sliced and packaged form in about three and a half hours. This is achieved through the addition of vitamin C, fat, yeast, and intense mechanical working by high-speed mixers. The last requirement means that it is difficult to reproduce CBP in a small-scale kitchen. The CBP is only a method of producing quick ripened bread dough. Large scale bread making with automated processes predates the CBP by at least a century. Flour, water, yeast, salt, fat, and, where used, minor ingredients common to many bread making techniques such as vitamin C, emulsifiers, and enzymes are mechanically mixed for about three minutes. The high shear mixing generates high temperatures in the dough, which is cooled in some advanced mixers using a cooling jacket. Chilled water or ice may also be used to counteract the temperature rise during high-speed mixing. Air pressure in the mixer headspace can be controlled to keep gas bubbles at the desired size and number. Typical operating regimes are pressure followed by vacuum, and atmospheric followed by vacuum. The pressure control during mixing affects the fineness of crumb texture in the finished bread. In typical high-volume bread production, the dough is cut divided into individual pieces and allowed to recover for 5 to 8 minutes intermediate proofing each piece of dough is then shaped molded placed in a baking tin and moved to the humidity and temperature controlled proofing chamber where it sits for about 45 to 50 minutes it is now ready to be baked baking takes 17 to 25 minutes at 450 degrees fahrenheit about 230 degrees celsius after baking, the loaves are removed from the baking tin to panning and then go to the cooler, where, about two hours later, they are, where necessary, sliced and packaged and ready for dispatch. In UK standard bread, the dough piece is cross-panned. At the molding stage, this involves cutting the dough piece into four and turning each piece by 90 degrees before placing it in the baking tin. Cross-panned bread appears to have a finer and wider crumb texture than the elliptical shape of the crumb bubble structure as seen from a different orientation. Cross-panned bread is easier to slice. <laughs> Adoption CBP is used in over 80% of factory-produced bread in the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand and India. Many smaller bakers also use the CBP to mix their dough which they then process by hand. Many speciality, crusty, and organic breads are produced this way. <laughs> Modern use Since the introduction of the process, many UK domestic wheat varieties have been improved. Flour suitable for traditional high-quality pan bread 11.5% to 13.5% protein can now be sourced in the United Kingdom. Prior to the CBP, UK bread was reliant on imported wheat, particularly from North America. Other processes Vienna bread, early innovative European bread process See also Flower treatment agent